everyone! Um, it's been a few weeks since um, I've done one of these because I was waiting for like the stream bots to catch up. And there's a few things that have happened. First off, things I've done since the um, last episode. Um, first off is I went through and I set up the logistics for essentially everything in the mall. So putting on buffer chests, uh, filtering all the inserters, and filtering the buffer chests. It was essentially just like an hour and a half of just setting up chests. And you did not need to see that. So I didn't let you see that. Um, another thing I did was I greatly increased some of red circuits we're making because we just need more red circuits for like science and things like that. Um, the other thing is is that AV Pi released. Um, AV Pi, which is like considered to be like one of the most complex mod packs um, of, well, mod packs, but it's Angels, Bobs, and Panadons mods. Um, but it's a very complex modded version of the game. And my friends and I want to play that. And uh, it's the the mod that lets them all work together finally came out. So we were originally going for like a full like SpaceX like in-game run here. But I've decided that, you know, we're not going to worry about that. We're, we're, we're not going to go that far. Instead, we're just going to go for a rocket launch. We're going for the traditional like beat the game. And we're going to be happy about that. So we're working towards getting the stuff we need to start building a rocket. Um, but in the meantime, while we're, while we're waiting on the science to go, um, let us upgrade some of our stuff. And essentially, we'll, we'll set up the stuff with the rockets and we'll be essentially upgrading the bus and making sure like all of the bus works well. Like some of the stuff we did by like making everything like outpost and very modular and all this won't be needed because we're not going to be like out doing full outpost and doing tons of science out and output and whatnot. But instead, um, I'm probably not even going to be doing like large like solar arrays either. It, it's what we're probably going to be end up doing is just like we're want to launch a rocket and that's our goal. Um, so the first thing I want is actually I want to get better armor. Um, so we need some steel plates and some stuff. Also, I got logistics. So I set up a bunch of logistics stuff we have. Um, I want to say hey, you don't need to be that. So. Um, so in the next year armor, so we need some steel, we need some processing units, and we need some electrical engines. So let's just grab this, and maybe the robots will grab that. And um, I've set up a little bit of recycling. Um, all right, so now we need some electric engine units, which we can get over at the, um, actually we can get that at bots. Um, I set up some recycling, um, which I just have this little um, blueprint like here, which essentially it's this little thing which take it, it is a buffer chest that says, hey, request these items, puts it in there, and then essentially puts it back onto the line and it lane balances it. And essentially it lets us for stuff that gets pulled up in there. And not everything is recycled. I'm only recycling a few things, but it works out in the end. Right, let's just grab a bunch of you. Um, and we want one power armor, please. All right, rockets are done. Uh, next up, we need to research the rocket silo, which we need uh, productive productivity modules to make. Cool. Um, now this mod pack does have rocket silo construction, so we like building a rocket is not trivial. Like it, it like it is kind of trivial in um, vanilla to launch a rocket. Like launching a rocket is not hard in vanilla. But we're, it's going to be a little bit more to actually, like, launch the rocket. And what else do we need that from here? Um, theoretically, that should be all that we need to um, get the rocket silo, shouldn't it? Am I, oh, rocket fuel. That's important. And now we can cue the rocket silo. Like, so we have our power armor. And unfortunately, we got to just take out all of our units here. And we will then replace our normal our thing with our power armor. We get some more inventory space, and more importantly, we get more uh, unit space. Now, one thing I want to build is: Do we have personal reactors yet? No, it does not appear that we do. Yeah, so um, I have not researched the personal fusion reactor, but it's fine. I just want to get the rocket silo beginning construction. Um, in the meantime, we can. Just drop some uh, of our stuff in here. Drop you there. And we'll have a lot more space. And essentially, 
I want to research the um, personal fusion reactor because it's just, it is much, much better at making power. It doesn't require on daylight and it just makes so much more. So it works out a lot better in that way. Um, and like other things we don't want is we were going to want some, um, actually I'm going to probably actually, you know what? It's important for us to get these. Let us get just the personal fusion reactor. Hey, get us that. Um, cause this is very important cause the other things we want is, um, we want some exoskeleton legs. All exoskeleton legs are these awesome things that let us run faster and running faster sounds great. Also, let's just turn off of, turn off you. Yeah, you can have like 400 of you. Bots, you, you don't want to grab that because we need some of those to build some better batteries. Wait, where was I going? I was going for ro robots. Um, but essentially what these legs do is they let us run faster, which is great. Because we can stop moving so slowly. Let's just make one. Let's let's make two legs. Like they're pretty big on the actual grid, so you can't fit that many, especially when you get the fusion reactors and or but it's like even just two legs we're moving so much faster, and that's that's real nice. Okay, so what will the fusion for it's just a bunch of processing unit and low density structures. Okay. Um, let's just say, hey, you can keep a bunch of these, and while we're waiting on that, we can, uh, make some, let's make, let's make our first, uh, personal battery mark two. They just hold a lot more, um, they hold five times the amount of, um, storage as a battery mark one, and not, doesn't require, it's, it's, it's exactly what you think it'd be, it's a bigger battery. Uh -huh. So we're essentially, I'm going to then after this, take out all of these and just like replace it with one of one of them and I'll turn all these into another battery. All right, so I need a bit more on the um, thing. Also, if you feel like your, your legs are going fast, you can just turn off your exoskeleton right there. And honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to bother with building a personal robot because we have nanobots and nanobots are decent, like. I may not just build the personal robot and like stick to bots, um, just being for the actual network. Right, so we finished our first battery. Well, let's just take you out and replace it with you. And we'll just grab all of you and we'll make, hey, give us another battery. Right, got the personal fusion reactor and let us go back to getting those modules that we need. Wait, no, that's not the one we needed. We needed speed modules. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we got all you, and now we just want a portable fusion reactor. And let's get the stuff for, like, a few more batteries, because, like, I like having, like, five batteries or so, like, even though we have, like, a lot, because I guess it isn't as important with, um, if you're not using, like, rope ports, because rope ports end up just using a lot of, um, power um okay can we even fit okay i don't think we can f can we fit two legs in here okay, let's, let's figure out how we're doing this so that that goes there i don't think we can fit two legs um with the fusion reactor unfortunately we can fit you there fit you there yeah we're gonna need the next tier of um Yeah, we'll just like have you there, you there. And we'll just have our, our spare um, space filled out with there. It actually fits out very nicely because we'll have, um, wait, are we, am I one battery short? I think I might be one battery short. Okay, and then we'll fill it out here, and that will give us like, it's not as fast as it could be because we only have one exoskeleton, but it will be much more power stable, and granted, 
I'd rather have st stable power with like our build immunity and things like that and not have to worry about like losing uh, all that. Okay, so let's make sure. Um, so our sign setup that we did last time is working well, uh, but we are low on red science, it appears. At least right there. Yeah, red science isn't doing. That's rare that rare red science is the one that's not um that's been a bit slow. But here's the thing. Red science we don't know we will need slightly more of. So let's just like like granted we did calculate these to all like be like calculate to scale and all that, but at the same time, you can just like plop on some uh oops. A few extra machines and it'll be fine. Also, um yeah. It's it's also red is just doesn't have it only sub product, so it's very easy to add on more red. Well, let's just go full overkill. Make sure that we never have not enough for a second because we got you done. So we just gotta put Q back up rocket fuel and no rocket cells. And there's like there's still like a fair few stuff that is useful. Oh, like better fusion, like better personal stuff, but like honestly our personal stuff is not that important right now. So I think the next thing we want to start looking at doing is actually because what's the problem is is our throughput. Um and also, since we've kind of finished you, you can we can put you back to being. Hey, we don't need all of you. Hey, um, next thing you can do is start start looking at um. Essentially, increasing the production of this entire line, which is mostly increasing all this to red belts, um, which is it's, it's it's a lot. I I won't I won't say that it isn't a lot, but uh, it is in fact uh, necessary. And unless we don't need to clear out most of this, we're gonna set up a new one that says, "Hey, we want to switch everything over to red belts." I mean, there's an argument to just go straight for blue, but like. I'd rather just be more incremental. So let's just start and say, hey, everything that's within our bot network here, you can do that. And also, we don't want our personal bots to be doing this, so I'm going to turn our personal bots off. Because um, when your personal bots uh, replace belts, um, they are bad and will sometimes put the stuff in your inventory. And that isn't really what we want to be doing. Fun fact. Um, I'll be 100% honest, right now I'm just killing time while we, um, work on, uh, before we set up building out our, um, whatchamacallit, our rocket cell. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to run over and I'm going to set up a small little system to build us some concrete. And put concrete onto the bus. So we're just gonna run over to the other side of science here. And this doesn't go directly towards science, but we do need, I know we do need concrete. Um, I don't actually know if we'll need reinforced concrete for um, the rocket cell construction. I could see it being a possibility. Come on, just pick stuff up for me. Thank you. All right. One thing we should do is we should also switch over to just using red belts. Um, so I'm going to say, hey, no longer give me those. Give me reds. And red splitter things. And red of you. And we're going to say, hey, get rid of all these gross lower tier things that we don't need. And 
because I set up all of the things here, it'll probably recycling them, recycle them. So it'll it'll put all of our yellow belts into like the belts to be made into red belts. So we'll be good on that front. And the bots will take all of our stuff from us. Oh, I do believe that we never set up rocket fuel or a solid fuel to build rocket fuel because I wasn't expecting to build a rock here. Um, and also, oh, we gotta upgrade our things down here. So your red belts, your red undergrounds, you are red splitters and you are red loaders. And now it's coming from where it's like, hey, it's having trouble making all these. And one thing we can actually do is we're going to need to set this upgrade to also say, hey, upgrade our blue thing guy, blue assembly machines into yellows. And just like blanket upgrade our enti this entire facility. Because it's like some of the big stuff, like these arrays, we don't necessarily have the power to like upgrade to yellows. Because yellow, yellow assembly machines do take a lot more power. Um, but these are a bit better. And also if we need more power, I'll probably just build like another oil burning array. Um, but we're not going to be really building to such a scale that we're going to be burning out all of our, um, all of our fuel. Um, speaking of burning out of all our fuel, how are, how is, um, the coal mines down here doing? Okay, you are all good and fine and well. Alright, so you, you're starting to, you sometimes have, this one sometimes has problems with like keeping up with the amount of gears, so we'll just add some more inserters to keep it filled with gears. We could put stack inserters, but this is a little bit more power efficient. And we don't need that much more. Um, one thing the bots will do is they'll prioritize giving stuff to me before I give anything else, and that's actually probably all we need right now. Let's run over um, and do that. Let's up build that concrete station. We don't don't actually need to do space assembly, unfortunately. Uh, fun fact. Huh, that's cool that it, it, the the um, SpaceX has a unique combinator to give that. Right, we are now onto the rocket silo, and this will take a little bit longer to build because it's very complex. Also, I should say, hey. keep like 50 of these but we can I should probably say keep 50 blues because we're be using blues too um but concrete's very easy to build concrete is in fact just uh water or uh, iron water and some bricks so it's gonna be a pretty pretty standard thing we're gonna have line coming down here you're gonna come here do 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 we okay, have you come in here, and we'll say, hey, you're going to go in, and you're going to go out. We'll say, out, in, do do. Oops, that's the wrong way. And we'll say, hey, you get power, power. Oops, I forgot to add the transport belts, but this will, oops. Also, okay, let's, right, you also might want the offset so it uses both sides of the output belt. And this is honestly overkill, but it'll be fine. Uh, oh, deep water wells, you probably actually want to keep some of you on hand. Um, Cause it's just like, I don't want to actually have to build anything by hand. Hey there! Uh, ready for a brawl? I, I'm excited. I, I'm, it's not coming until October, which is unfortunate, but I'm very excited. Um, I would also say that I'm okay at this game. I know, I know, I would say, like, I'm an advanced player at this game, but not, like, good at the advanced stages, if that makes sense, where... 
I know the nuances of like building a mega base and things like that, but I'm not like amazing at this game. I don't know the ins and outs very well. I just know how to do things very well. Uh, do, do, do we actually make water wells? I don't actually know if we make water wells here. I don't think I actually ever taught it how to make those whatsoever. Um, and of course we can't without taking the altar off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little thing to make them. All right, so we need, first we need under uh, these, which are circuits, pipes, and gears. That's gonna be probably about over here. I'm gonna say, hey, or she, I'm gonna say, hey, you're gonna make you, and then you will go into, and you're going to be the water bombs. And we'll, actually, I'm, I don't really need a um, buffer of those. And you will just go, and we'll just have you turn in here, and you will be a buffer chest, and we'll say, hey, connect to the network and say, hey, keep making water wells, as long as there's less than, say, 20 in the system, and you're going to request, like, 50 water wells. That should be, honestly, overkill, but it'll be fine. Okay, and you're also going to need sticks, so we can do that easily enough. So you're going to pull there and push there, and you'll make sticks. Alright, so this needs pipes and gears. So we'll go in there, and we need green circuits as well. Doop, 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 doop. Thanks to Bob just building servers, so just have it like that. It'll be good. Right, you need pipe to grounds and stone water wells. All right, let's just have you just be a little bad, like, and I know that this is just a mess, but right, you're gonna go from here to there. Does that go right? Yep, that goes right. Oh, you also need iron, okay. I can do that. Can you finish the game with uh, aliens attacking you? I can, um, and I have. Um, I essentially have every achievement in this game for except for beat the game in eight hours because I have not really tried. All right, so you need iron. We'll just stretch all of these down to give me a new the um, lines. Okay, and we will just you oops to be that in right and you just need stone and bricks which we can get right there so we'll just have you come in like that and that and that and that and we'll go into there picking up from there And honestly, you can be a stack inserter because it's just you're picking up a lot. And you'll make stone water wells. Woo! Just what we wanted. And we'll say, hey, you go into our inventory and put you in our bar. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, that little uh, diversion across. Yeah, no, I'm really excited for AB Pi. AB Pi is it's it's gonna be rough. Like I'm not gonna lie, it's it's AB Pi is not a it is not a pack for the faint of heart. Um, but it'll be cool. It'll be exciting. Right, so let's give all of you, oops, water. And okay, one of you needs to be iron. One of you needs to be stone bricks. And these belts will not seem saturated with the um, red belts because um, also can't just click and drag with red belts anymore because it's not max length um, because they're moving twice as fast as the main belts and we will work on upgrading those in a bit. Okay, those will come down and let us bring down some power. Doop. Doop. 
And let's, oops, let's bring up the resulting products. Oh, we didn't want iron plates. We wanted iron ore. I'm real dumb. Remember that's part where I said I was competent in this game? Just ignore all that. Like, I'm not. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, in my defense, so most of the time when I like tell myself like, hey, I need iron, I usually mean I need iron plates, not iron ore. Okay, you're gonna come up. Oh, we're not, we're not it. Um, this is a nice length because it is the length that a blue belt can go all the way underneath. Let's actually also increase. Let's add some more real lines here. Are you a fan of first person shooters? I am not. I'm um, definitely an RPG kind of person. RPG simulation games like Factorio and Green Strategy. Those, those are my preferred genres. And we're making some things. Actually, let's move this like, right over to this side, like right here. Oh. Plop down in the underground. And this way we can like uh, do do copy one of these setups and just like plop down a few more oops like that and like this is very much overkill but you know what concrete's nice and we're not gonna we're not gonna nicely pave everything because i don't feel like doing that for a thing that i'm trying to end in the next few streams so we're making a bunch of concrete there and that's great Continuing to make a bunch of stuff. What is the lacking science here? It is green science. Okay, that's um, that I believe we can actually just plop down a lot more um, of these two as well. Um, and obviously, green has other resources. It has um, some uh, in the form of like, hey, these these. These uh, things are building that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, hey, take you and be like, hey. Also, you can like move like there. And I know that this is a horrible, ugly mix of like blue, uh, of green and yellow belts, but I don't, I don't care. And because of how we built this, we can just like copy this a few times. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, um, I'm just waiting on my sister because, um, well, also the stream, but uh, it takes like some nice pictures of it getting it sliced and things like that. Um, I'm super happy with how it turned out. Mm. 
Okay, so we are making that. Continuing to make the rocket silo. And okay, so we have more, more, a little bit more time to kill. When we do that, let's say we've caught up on building all that. So, um, oops, forgot to turn off my personal reports. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna say, hey, upgrade off you. And I'm actually gonna take off of this one just because I don't want to necessarily upgrade everything to that. But we're gonna say, hey, oops, oops, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Oh, shoot, I don't want to do that. All right, so let's, um, undo this because we don't want these to change because this is important because like that timer is specific like these being that is specific but everything else can change and you're all normal and we'll say hey and most of this is not within the purview of um our current robo network but this will keep our robo network busy for a long time all right, you're all good there. And we also want to um, move all the way down there. And we also want to hit all of our stations down here. And we're also going to want to upgrade our station, our mines. Um, we should probably actually take a nice trip to all our mines and clean them up and uh, see if we actually need more anytime soon. All right, we just want to make sure that all of this is nice and upgraded. And one benefit of like the uh, in-game upgrade planner, like well, the vanilla upgrade planner over like the um, in prior editions of Factorio, it's upgrading like the upgrade planner mod, is that the in-game one does not stop like a belt from moving when it is set to be upgrading. Like with the upgrade old upgrade planner mod, you couldn't use a belt if you were setting to be upgraded. So you want you didn't want to like just say like, hey, all this is marked to be upgraded. Um, but now it isn't an issue. Okay, this is another thing is that you can actually overwhelm the system based on everything it needs to get upgraded. Um, so, but I am just gonna like, since we are just killing time, I'm gonna set our, hey, bots, you can do this. Yeah, okay. Alrighty. Do you want to just do them like later tonight um, when um, people are asleep? And by people, I mean mom. And not in there so we can like manipulate the lighting without bugging her. Rocket Silo has finished, so we will move off of you. Alright, so what do we want next? I mean, obviously, sign fact makes sense, but it's actually kind of far off. So we don't actually need that. Um, diesel generate. That could be interesting if we need more power. Like, set up like a diesel system. Hmm. Mm hmm. What else could we do? Fusion robotics isn't actually, that sounds pretty far off because those are very expensive if you want your own personal fusion robots. Um, oh, hey there. Thanks. Subway 100, Subway 100, Subway 100, <laughs> Subway 100, Subway 100, bonus 50. Oh, thanks. Right, let's actually just grab the radar amplifications because those are those are nice. Oh, wait, but we can now build our first, and well, our only. We're we're not building more than one, but our first rocket silo. But we have the rocket silo construction mod, which means that we don't actually build rocket silos normally. So we need a hundred electric engine units and two hundred electric mining drills, and this will set up the first portion of it. Let's go grab that, and we need to figure out where we're gonna put this thing. Um, doo -doo 
do. Excuse me. Wait, so, um, we pulled back down. Okay, so how much do we have now? Well, we have 33. <laughs> I should really, like, add, like, that's one thing I do, I did on my other, on my, my Bob's game where I just had electric engine units. It's, like, part of, like, um, the mall. Also, let's upgrade these so it stops having this in the way. Hey, thanks for the follow. How's it going? Let's grab more radar, radar amplification so we can, like, see more. Okay. Yeah, the bots really don't like how much I set to go. Actually, no, they're, they're doing some of it. They're, they're just, um... Also, let's say, hey. Y'all can be better. Building building bots is a noble cause. You get to have slightly better uh, stuff. Notably, uh, building building me uh, electric engine units for this is a noble cause. I, I think I have more electric engine units over at the um, the other place. Um, while my brain does not like working tonight, science that's that's the place. <laughs> um, we should probably set up some like. Uh, modules so we can set up like efficiency modules for when we actually want to start building the rocket um all right uh here we are oh yeah this really ugly part because i was dumb and didn't make it correctly here we are rocket silo construction site that is what we want and I'm going to place it just like, well, well, it's probably like way out here. Like lots of space around it, lots of space to like work on, work on it. Um, also, I'm just going to like bring this out here and say, hey, copy you. Actually, I'm just like copy you out to like there. So this thing we cannot move once it's placed, which is which is important thing to note, and because, um, well, it's this big, it's a big giant hole in the ground because it's essentially this mod essentially makes that first launch a bit harder, and also just building your thing. So we built this rocket silo site, which is essentially just this big mining drill, and it's gonna bore out uh, where we want this to be. Um, so one thing we'll do is that several of this, the stage of this will need this, so we're just gonna say, hey, you can take resources out and just plop them right into a warehouse for us, because, wow, that's gonna take a while. And we're going to just hook this up to some power. And you can build all that, that's fine. Um, but this is just going to start digging out some stuff. It'll fill it and it'll, we'll take out all of the stuff of it. But now we are, this is the first stage of building a rocket silo and we're just going to clear it out and it's going to be great. <laughs> 